what is up? Took home yet another TV from work that was acting up. They have like hundreds of these in the medical building for patients. And these cheap view sonics like to die. They've thrown out bunches of them. I've fixed one. So this one's still kind of powered up and then would shut off. So at least it ain't fried. Capacitors are going out again. You can just see the ones that are, that one's domed up. This one's not. These are parallel to the circuit, so maybe that's why it's still working. This one's domed up, that one a little bit, and that one. You don't even need to use a tester. If you see a capacitor like that domed up, they're bad. Yeah, it's like they don't, the tolerances are not enough. It's just to be cheap. They make them cheaper with lower grade parts and they fail. These are failing way too early. They're not even lasting like two years before they die. Picture looks pretty good. One upstairs I fixed last year is still working great for the kids as their computer monitor. So one thing it's hooked up to is uh, it does have audio in and VGA in as well as the HDMI. So we're able to plug a computer into it, use it as a monitor. And that's what I'm doing with them when I fix them. Nice little 32 inch monitor for computer. Okay, so. These two are 1,000 microfarads each, 35 volt rating. Probably not rated high enough for voltage. Either that or they're just cheap. So let's see if I got some thousands. The other thing I could do in a case like this, these two capacitors are parallel together. Like you can watch, follow the tracers in the back. There's one here and one here. So the two positives are connecting the two negatives. They're just parallel. So electronically, you know, these, the circuit is seeing a 2000 microfarad capacitor because it's got two 1000s paralleled. So if I got like a 2200 microfarad capacitor, you know, rated 35 or 50 volts, I could probably just drop it down in there. Um, might be hard to fit, I'm gonna have to lay it sideways. These are 1500s each, so together in the circuit, because they're also paralleled, it's the circuit's seeing 3000 microfarads. I think these were uh, lower voltage, 16 volt, yeah. Probably pushing it. These two are 220s. I think they're just 16 volts. Yep. Those are pretty easy to come across capacitors. And this one down here, I think, is another 1500 microfarad, but it's a lower voltage, like a 35 or 25 or something. Yeah, these are 35s. Or these are 16s. I think this was even less. I don't know. Anyway, I like to uh, recycle capacitors off of old circuit boards just to be cheap and low buck. And also, I got the new ones out in my garage. I'll have to see what I got. Okay. I replaced most of the capacitors. These two here, uh, the two 1000s. I used some of the capacitors already added stock. Some used ones, some new ones. So these are two of the same value. They're just two different brands. Same thing here. Um, actually, I put a 2200 with a 1000 because that's what I had. It's going to grossly make, if you calculate it, pretty close to 3000 microfarads. And I had two 1500s there before. This is just switching power supplies. So that's just pretty much what the DC, um, it is, it's charging the capacitors to filter to the uh, 16 volt, 5 volts, whatever the circuits are running on, whatever the switching power supply is making. So I just got these two. 220 microfarad by 25 volt capacitors that change out. I'm gonna do that now. Those are this one. I need to tin the end of my soldering iron. There we go. One and then this one right here. Didn't quite get it all the way out. Probably close enough. Those are little small compact suckers too, but that's probably why they blow up. 
220 by 16. Here's 220 by um, 25s. I got a whole slew of these used ones I took out of train Voyager boards. 220 by 50s. You can use those. The voltage is the working voltage. So it usually doesn't hurt to go over what you had. There's another new one. Let's see. This is a 220 by 35. What else I got in there? Just thinking of what I got before I opened these new ones. So. And the black line is negative. So you want to get the polarity proper on these. Or they will blow up if they're charged backwards. Pulls it out just a tad. Just trim off the excess lead there. Okay, just make sure it's down in there flat. Sometimes they fall out on you. That one is okay. Two different brands. It's one slightly fatter than the other one, but they're the same ratings. 220 volts at 35 volts each one. Should be good. So basically replaced all the capacitors in the switching power supply section. Except for these two right here. They look probably good. They're 820 microfarad. I think these were good in the other boards too. And they're actually parallel also right here. And then the traces go over here and get to that other one that's right there. So electrically it's 820, 820, you know, 1640 microfarads. If, you had, if these were gone, you had a 1500 microfarad uh, at the right voltage, which is 25 on this, it would put in one spot, it would work. Sometimes there might be a reason they have capacitors uh, at two different spots like this in the same electrical circuit. One would be for space requirements, which could be this, or also sometimes to get them as close as possible to this, to the where it's switching, you know, because these do are high speed switching power supply. You, know, you get interference and noise. You want to put the capacitors as close as possible to suppress that. Uh, let's see, this is what it looks like before we take the little screws out. In case somebody does a search for a stupid piece of junk view Sonic N3235W or something like that and finds my video, I might recognize the circuit board. I'm on a tile floor in a kitchen, which is a spot is favorable so you won't be generating static electricity with your shoes <laughs> on carpet. Sometimes uh, what I'll do for something like this, if uh, I was worried about static, is this is a high voltage plug. When you unplug it from the circuit boards, and the ground is still connected, you could keep the power cord plugged into the outlet to the wall. Just make sure you don't touch this and your chassis will be grounded. If I kept it, although the one upstairs, the first one fixed, is still working, but I'd be almost tempted just to add a little cooling fan in here, you know, from, from some other spare part project. And you can tell these scepters run hot, especially when they're mounted on the wall with less airflow like that. Okay, now to test it, I just plugged it in in my Surface tablet, and it seems to be working. Let me search my own channel here. Yeah. Hey, what is up, guys? All right, just an update. That looks like a control system volume up there, too. Replace these temporary. Looking good. Yeah, so. so looking pretty 
good. Let's see if I remember how to play it. Oh, that's a wreck. Well, Larry, he's now on Broadway with Tony nominees. Well, it's the same TV as a stair. Give it a little. She could paint a piper. Venom or, or, you know, marbles downstairs or anything. Uh, it just, you know, Sweet. Yeah, that's good enough. Disconnect from that.